Christ is risen. The Paschal proclamation is answered in our hearts with reverent exaltation. He is risen indeed, we exclaim with a tender joy which fills the soul with desire to express a prayerful response to God for his divine greeting. Rejoice, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his closest followers and disciples, thereby testifying to his resurrection from the dead. This good news is passed on from mouth to mouth, from generation to generation, from heart to heart in the Church of Christ. As we receive the Paschal testimony to the resurrection, to this triumph of life eternal, we contemplate the Word of God with the eyes of faith. We become capable of experiencing today that which was revealed in the past, and we look to, for the future fulfillment of that which is promised. By faith, we become partakers of eternal life. And this mystical activity in us of the risen Christ, the Word of God, renews us and uni unites us with Him, making us the adopted children of God. Dear brothers and sisters, with all my heart, I congratulate you on this great feast of the Pasch of Christ. I call the blessing of the risen Christ upon all the good desires of your hearts, so that we may live by faith and that we may always be able to give a living answer to the divine world that it enters into us. Christ is risen indeed.